In Section 5 of Chapter 18, we are looking at the dependence of cell potential on concentration. So far, we have been looking at standard cell potentials, where the concentration of the solutions is one molar. When the concentrations of the reactants or products are changed, then the voltage, the cell potential, will change as well. Um, again, that cell potential is that driving force of the electrons. The voltage will increase if the concentration of a reactant is increased or if a product is decreased. We are basically talking about having more reactant than product, which increases the driving force of the electrons. The voltage will decrease if the concentration of a reactant is decreased or a product is increased basically less reactant than product. The driving force of the electrons is decreased. So for the following reaction, we're going to predict whether the new cell potential would be larger or smaller than the standard cell potential. Again, the standard cell potential is at uh, one molar concentration. So in letter A, we have an aluminum ion concentration of two molar. Aluminum ion is a product and now we have less reactant than product, so the cell potential decreases. In letter B, manganese ion is three molar, which is right here. We now have more reactant than product. Our cell potential will increase. The Nernst equation looks at the relationship between cell potential and the concentrations of the cell components. It is based on this equation that we talked about in chapter 17. Notice that the Nernst equation has the base 10 log, not the natural log. N represents the number of moles of electrons. And we have our standard cell potential and then our new cell potential once we've changed the concentration. Concentrations can be used to calculate Q. Again, remember we are talking about concentrations that are not one molar. Now let's describe the cell based on the following half reactions. We can talk about the balanced cell reaction, the standard uh, cell potential, the actual cell potential, since the molarities are not uh, one molar. We can do a cell diagram showing the electron flow, and then we can also write out the line notation. Let's start with writing out the balanced cell reaction. We're going to flip around the second half reaction and turn it into an oxidation. And then we'll also flip the sign on the voltage. So be positive. We need to balance out the electrons. We'd like two electrons lost and gained. That changes our coefficients in the first half reaction, but not the voltage. That gives us this overall balanced cell reaction. And the standard cell potential is 1.76 volts. Now we're not at one molar for our concentrations, so we're going to use the Nernst equation to solve for the cell potential. E equals 1.76 volts minus 0.0591 over 2 for 2 moles of electrons. And then we're going to take the log of the uh, concentrations, we'll just plug them in, uh, products over reactants. 0.01 squared times 0.1 over 2 squared times 0.5 to the fourth. We are not including any solids like zinc or any liquids like water in Q. And our answer is 1.89 volts. This is an increase in voltage over the 1.76 volts. We increase the concentration of a reactant and decrease the concentration of the products compared to one molar. So this is an increase in the driving force of the electrons. 
Now let's label a cell diagram with the anode and the cathode and the direction of the electron flow. Anode on the left, cathode on the right. The anode is where the oxidation occurs. That was the half reaction with the zinc. The zinc is the electrode. And then in solution, we have 0.1 molar zinc ion. In our cathode, we have a whole bunch of stuff in solution. And then uh, no metal for the electrode. So we're going to use an inert metal like platinum. Electron flows from anode to cathode. And then for our line notation, the anode on the left with the zinc metal and the zinc ion showing the concentration. And then for the cathode, all of those different ions in solution with their concentration. And then at the end, the platinum electrode. When we have a redox reaction at equilibrium, the cell potential is zero. There is no electron flow or we call this dead battery. And Q then equals K. So our Nernst equation, rearranged a little bit, turns into this. Which we can also rearrange into this equation. So it is possible to calculate the equilibrium constant based on the standard cell potential. So in this problem, we have some half reactions we're going to write the balanced redox reaction, calculate the standard cell potential, and the equilibrium constant at 25 degrees Celsius. All of these things are marked standard. It doesn't say we're not at one molar, so we are going to proceed with the standard cell potential. Let's use the second half reaction as our oxidation. We'll flip it around, and that's a positive 0.5 volts then. And then we need to multiply that equation by 2 to get the electrons to balance. Do not double the voltage. Here is our balanced cell reaction. And the standard cell potential is 0.67 volts. Now, using that number, we can calculate K, the equilibrium constant. Log of K equals... 2 for 2 moles of electrons times 0.67 volts divided by 0.0591. And when solved, K equals 4.7 times 10 to the 22nd, a very product-favored reaction. There is another way to solve this problem using this series of equations that utilizes delta G. Finally, let's look at concentration cells. This is where you have the same components, uh, but the concentrations are different. So in this example, notice that we have silver for each of our electrodes, and then silver ion, but they're at different concentrations, 1 volt molar versus 0.1 molar. The electrons flow from less to more concentrated, as you can see here in the diagram. This is to equalize concentration. Here's the half reaction for the anode where we are making silver ion, increasing the concentration. And then here's the half reaction at the cathode where the silver ion is a reactant. So that would decrease its concentration. Also notice in this diagram how we are using up silver metal, and silver metal is plating over here.